Namaste, Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. Hi, my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens. I love you guys so much. Hope you guys are well and safe. Um, I got a few channel messages here that I want to go uh, over with you guys. I want to read the channel messages to you guys, but before I get into the channel messages... I was hearing this song uh, very loud, and this song kept playing over and over, so I listened to it. And somebody's in despair. Somebody feels like nothing compares to you, Aries. Okay? Then I heard this song by Shanae O'Connor. Nothing compares. Nothing compares to you. Somebody feels like nothing compares to you. Since you've been gone, I can do whatever I want. Right? This person feels like since you've been gone, they feel lost without you. They feel alone. This could be someone that you broke up with two weeks ago. This could be someone you broke up two years ago. And you know how that goes. It could be a recent breakup or a, like um, this breakup could have been like in the distant past. All right? So nothing compares to you. Did, did I ever tell you that you're my hero? So this song I also heard by Bette Midler. Did I ever tell you you're my hero? You're everything I wish I could be. So somebody feels like you're their hero. They wish to be like you. This person is admiring you, inspired by you. You could have been triggering somebody's awakening. But somebody's inspired by you, and now this person knows that nothing compares to you. Nobody compares to you. This person had to learn a hard lesson, all right, to be left out of your energy, to be rejected by you, or to be uh, blocked by you. Because this person didn't know your worth. This person didn't, and um, it was basically like, this person did not hold you in high regard at one point. Like I said, this could be a family member, or this could be a lover, or an ex, somebody that feels lost right now without you. This person is remembering everything you told them and everything you did to help this person, to try to love this person, to be there for this person, and they still were too stubborn to see things your way. This person is seeing things your way. Somebody could have passed away in this person's life, okay, because I heard that song by Bette Midler. It almost made me feel like someone passed. All right, you are you you could you could have lost someone in your life, and um, if somebody watching this video, you lost someone. My condolences. You were very close to this person, or you feel very saddened and hurt by this uh person's ending or or their death. All right, my condolences. But somebody here is feeling like they're lost without you. Nothing compares to you. All right, this person knows that you're highly gifted or highly favored. You could have a child by this person or this. you just have a child. You could have a child that uh, passed away. My condolences. If somebody watching you have a child that passed away and um, this child is with you in the spirit realm, all right? This child could be with you in the spirit realm, protecting you from spiritual attacks, all right? So, uh, and this could be the other way around. If you have a mother or a parent that passed away and a loved one that passed away, this person could be protecting you in the spirit realm from spiritual attacks as well, all right? But you guys... There could be a child here. I'm picking up on a child. A child that's being protected from spiritual attacks. All right? There's uh, family members or community of people or a group of people that could be sending you dark spiritual warfare. They could be sending you spiritual attacks, demonic energies. And this spiritual attacks they're sending you could be affecting your child. This could be affecting someone's son. Someone's son could be from the ages of 16 to 25. This could be affecting someone's child, all right? Someone's child could be younger. This could be affecting someone's younger child. They could be waking up with having bad dreams, all right? Night sweats, getting sick with a bad fever. You take your child a bath in a, in a bathtub full of Florida water. Put Florida water in the bathtub and bay leaves. Take that child a, a spiritual bath for someone watching. All right, The Wind Beneath My Wings by Bette Midler. Somebody's last name could be O'Connor or somebody's name could be Connor. Yeah. You have the you have the strength and the courage. You having strength and courage to heal from whatever you've been through is awakening a lot of people around you. Someone feels like you're their hero as well. This person, you could have worked with this person, you could be guiding this person or this person's just watching what you're doing. This person sees how you've been growing and healing. They're taking your advice. You're helping this person 
um, awaken, all right? Or this person feels like you are their hero. Somebody could be gifting you something, giving you a large donation or a gift for your birthday or something that they're giving you. It's because this person feels like you actually helped them heal. You actually helped them awaken. You've been um, helping them through their transformation, whether you know it or not, okay? And um, even though you feel this pain, you keep a smile on your face. Even though you uh, have some sort of burden that you're dealing with or some sort of heartache that you're going through, you still keep a smile on your face and you're still there for others, all right? You could be seeing eagles, you could be seeing hawks, or you could be seeing crows. That is confirming your intuition and that you have psychic abilities and that your ancestors are heavily protecting you. See something clear. Seeing the sign, seeing something clear, you could be seeing bright orbs, all right, little bright orbs or bright white lights, all right? That is a sign that you're seeing past the veil. You're seeing through the veil. Someone you could be experiencing seeing dark shadows. It's time to cleanse your space or your home from these dark shadows someone left in your home. That's why you got to be careful who you're inviting into your home or your space. All right, someone is taking your kindness for weakness. Soon they will see that that is a huge mistake, all right? Because when you pull back your energy... When you pull back your love, this person is going to be in a dark place or something's going to suddenly happen with this person and, and it's going to be like a major tower moment, a major uh, realization, all right, that this person really did need you, that you helped this person a lot, but this person was too busy taking you for granted, um, gossiping about you to other people or people that were connected to you that you no longer had nothing to do with. You were not no longer dealing with certain people and this person was going back and forth talking about you to these people, you had to cut them out, all right? Something weird is happening with the sun, all right? Something is happening with the sun in our sky. It almost feels like there's two suns or like the sun is being split in half or like the sun is being dimmed down. The universe is expanding, all right? This is what's happening. There's a, an expansion of our universe and the energies, all right? Something about dark matter, all right? Deterioration. I mean, this could be our ozone layer as well. All right, or our earth, dark matters trying to take over the earth or something about dark matter. All right, somebody could be studying dark matter. This could be a scientist. Um, I heard about there's some sort of dark ring that appeared in the sky in Russia or Ukraine. What is this dark ring that appeared over the sky? This video went viral. I don't know if you guys saw that video, but go search it up. I saw it and it looked very creepy. I don't know if that was like a dark a dark spaceship that was just coming out um and you can only see like the the edges of it it was like this dark ring it almost feels like darkness trying to take over or the darkness that is in russia or ukraine all right god is warning people to surrender god is warning people to end the violence god is warning people to unite and to stop um killing people and to stop um having wars for power and destruction all right, and I also picked up on a blackout, all right, some something about a major blackout, a worldwide blackout, all right, so get plenty of water, candles, and flashlights, and batteries, I had a premonition of a global blackout, darkness, all right, something about this blackout that I keep getting a message about, so it keeps being given to me, all right, Finding something weird on your property or yard, all right? If you found something weird on your property or you're in your yard and it looks like some sort of voodoo hex or voodoo doll or curse, yes, somebody put that on your property. They're trying to destroy your life. They're trying to um, cause destruction for your home and your prosperity, all right? Pour Himalayan salt around your home outside or black blessed salt around your home or outside if you're finding something weird in your yard. This could be like a dark witch in your community, all right, that's working with your family to um, take you out or to destroy you. You are protected, so don't be in fear. That's all I want to say. You just have to put Himalayan salt around your property and ward off this bad energy, clean, clean your home inside. There's some sort of flesh-eating drug in Philadelphia or New York. That could be significant. Somebody could be from Philly or New York. Someone's family member could be from Philly or New York, and they're going through some sort of bad drug addiction. This person's flesh is deteriorating or there's like this flesh eating drug that's creating demons made to made to depopulate the earth, made to kill people. All right. Walking dead. I heard the zombies. This drug is being created in a lab and put out in the streets to take people out. Wow. If you go outside and this is a specific message for somebody watching, this is going to reach you. If you hear barking dogs as soon as you go outside and you're about to go somewhere, don't go, go back inside or don't go wherever you're going. That's a warning. 
All right, you could be connected to dogs and um the wolf, the spirit animal, the wolf, so the dogs, all right, was trying to warn you if you went outside or you were walking somewhere or you were about to leave your house. <clears throat> My throat chakra is being affected, so someone doesn't want me to get this message out. But your ancestors are giving you a warning through dogs, barking dogs, a warning. Don't go to that person's house if there's barking dogs in their yard and you're about to visit them. Or if you're about to leave and go somewhere, don't go. If you hear a bunch of barking dogs, all of a sudden, that's a specific message or a barking dog. All right? Somebody here, you're going to get an unexpected apology or unexpected gift from family member or next friend. All right? There's a loan being approved. A blockage is being removed. If you were waiting on a loan to be approved and it was being blocked, Someone's reaching out that you're finally getting approved for a loan. All right. If there's a fire or explosion or there's going to be a fire or explosion, I'm picking this up heavy in some sort of warehouse or factory. There's dangerous chemicals or electrical hazards. If you're working there, quit that job. That's that. That's like a, a, a major, major explosion waiting to happen in that in that job. All right. Spirit, let me pull a couple cards. Spirit, guides and angels. Guide me through this reading for the Aries. What do they need to see? What do they need to know? Who's coming towards them? What is the energy? Speak to me clearly. Somebody really admires you. Somebody knows no one compares to you. You've been the wind, wind beneath this person's wings. You've been fighting spiritually. In the, uh, it's almost like you've been protecting this person spiritually. Even though this person hurt you. Even though they betrayed you. Even though they made you cry. Even though they walked away. Somehow you've been protecting someone and they had a major awakening or epiphany or a vision or a dream about who you are, who you really are. You're an earth angel. This person could have saw you in a dream and you had some sort of angel a halo or bright aura around you or you were levitating in your dream. That's significant. Wow. Give me the message, Spirit, for the Aries. This is intense. This energy feels very intense. It's a lot going on right now. I feel this intense energy. It's like your vibration is surging through your body. It's almost like you feel like you're coming out of your body, like you're having an out-of-body experience. Or somebody is. Yeah. Because they try to put a block on your love life. They try to pro probably try to put a block on your success or finances. And um, this is causing somebody a heavy burden. All right? Release the burden. Somebody is orchestrating this to happen to you. If this is going on for you now, then release the burdens. You could be dealing with an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn or a heavy fire sign that's holding on to your energy for dear life. And now they feel burdened because they lost you. And now they're having financial losses. Hmm. Yeah, you're no longer feeling defeated, all right? Like I said, you had an energy boost or like you had a major blessing or transformation or somebody's feeling defeated, but you're no longer feeling defeated or you're you're protected in your dreams from this person's attacks or someone is protecting your child. Your ancestors are protecting this child in, in, in their dreams or in their life, period. All right, Virgo energy, you awaken to something here, all right? You became the queen of swords. Are you dealing with a queen of swords? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, yeah, Capricorn, devil energy, carrying a heavy burden because you blocked this person. Because this person was blocking your prosperity. They was blocking your blessing and you had to block someone. All right, you had to become the queen of swords and now this person is carrying a heavy burden because of that. Mm -hmm. Because they can't hold on to your energy no more because you wised up. You crowned yourself with the truth. You're doing your work, your, your spiritual work. Something is backfiring. You're no longer passionate for this person. Taurus Virgo Capricorn, you removed the swords out of your back. You walked away. All right? Yeah. Then you're receiving the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. A beautiful blessing. A beautiful surprise. Somebody's gifting you something. Or the universe is repaying you for everything that was done to you in the dark. For whatever losses you had to take. Because you are an earth angel in this, in this earth. You are meant to heal the masses. You are causing awakenings. Yeah. Yeah, that's the truth. And you're getting a lot of messages from someone that really loves you, someone that wants to gift you something, that admires you. They want to be a part of you, your life, or this is Soul Tribe Family, or somebody that's connecting with you right now to give you good news, something that's going in your favor, something that's being given to you, communication. Somebody really wants to work with you now, or they want to repair a connection, because you stop dealing with this person. As soon as you cut this person out, their will of fortune got blocked, all right? Wow. Their protection ended. Wow. Okay, yeah, because they were hiding the truth. They were doing something strategically. They're trying to blind you from the truth. Yeah, I can't make it up, guys. Yeah. 
They were hiding something. They wanted you to be stuck to the truth. They wanted you to be blinded. They wanted you to feel like you couldn't walk away. You couldn't figure something out. Confuse yourselves. Wow. Yeah. Did you crown yourself with the truth? The queen of wands and the king of wands. There's a union happening, all right? This is a divine partnership, a divine couple. Regardless if the person you're partnering up with is a fire sign or not. All right, but you definitely are a uh, fire sign or you have fire in your chart. You have Aries somewhere in your chart, highly aspected. You're, sta you're standing up for yourself. You're the queen of wands, the king of wands, but this is a divine partnership and a couple that's meant to come together. All right, yeah. And somebody's in despair. This air sign is in despair. They could be going to jail for something they did and they're going to reach out to you, try to give you a gift, ask you for your, you know, to, to forgive them because they don't want you to show up in court, all right, and testify. For, uh, speak your to speak your truth. This Queen of Cups could be in despair as well because this, they, like I said, this could be the witch in the community or in your family. Hmm. Heavy burdens. Yeah. This is this is what they're getting. They can't juggle your energy, and now they're facing facing karma. But I feel like somebody you helped get through this energy. You could be a speaker. You could be a healer. You could be a reader. You could be emotion like you're definitely helping someone figure this whole situation out, or your ancestors are helping you figure this whole situation out. Well, somebody knows that you are who you say you are, right? Yeah. And now they're watching. They can't stop watching you because you're this emperor and you leveled up. Or well, this is an authority figure making a decision to help you, making a decision to do the right thing. All right. This could be a matriarch in your family that needs to do the right thing as well. But you leveled up. You're leveling up. All right, my loves. Let me pull another deck to see what else Spirit has to say before I end the video. What else does Spirit want, want to tell you? A couple random cards and messages. Somebody has long, dark hair, dreadlocks, or braids. Spirit's protecting you from somebody. All right, whether this is you or someone you know that has this long hair, braids, or dreadlocks. Yeah. Somebody here, you're headed for a modeling career. All right, you're being chosen. Somebody's coming to see you. Somebody's coming to see you, and somebody else here is having a sneaky link with a co-worker, and this is being exposed. Somebody could get fired because they, they were having a sneaky link with a co-worker. They got caught on the job. Wow. A sister lied on you and said that you were having a sneaky link with a co-worker. That could be specific for someone. All right. Somebody has tattoos. The tattoo card always coming up here. Somebody has a neck tattoo, or somebody's a tattoo artist. All right. Somebody's getting um, evicted, or somebody's uh, getting an eviction notice. And there's a cousin that's involved into something here, a cousin here, the letter C, J, B, L, or M. Maybe this cousin has a neck tattoo or there are tattoo orders. Mm. Or this cousin was just involved. Yeah, somebody's really spying on you. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. All right, somebody has short blonde hair. Somebody created a voodoo doll on you. Wow, this is a male co-worker, a male warlock, somebody that's jealous of you at, at your job or your workplace or in your community. Oh, this is somebody you used to deal with. Wow. Yeah. Somebody has a, a tribal sleeve tattoo. Karmic females. We already know this. Karmic females obsessed with you. They be checking you out. Somebody's dreaming of you now. Somebody really wants to propose marriage or they feel like you're the one. They can, they're having visions of you guys being married or they had a dream that you guys were being like we're marrying one another or you married each other. Somebody has a motorcycle. They really regret losing you, though. That's what I'm picking up. Heavy Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Heavy Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag here. And there is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that's being left out of your energy, right? Because they, they overdid their manipulation. You're getting an important phone call in two or three days from now. Yeah. This person was a fake best friend to you in the past. There was a fake best friend here and that was sleeping with somebody's person and now this fake best friend is trying to come back into your life all of a sudden acting like you don't know this person actually was lying to your ex about you or, or this person was fake in the past or whatever they was doing this person a fake a fake friend is going to try to get back in your energy i'm just letting you know protect your energies from this person relax you guys could be relaxing a lot spending a lot of time alone but you're ready for whatever someone was paid off to like to like not give somebody was paid off to not send you an important letter or to not give you this notice or not tell you something about what was old somebody got paid off to not say anything they got paid to stay quiet but now they have to do something they have to make something right yeah they're trying to cause they, somebody's trying to create a conflict argument don't fall for this argument or conflict somebody's trying to create all right yeah because this person could be having nightmares bad dreams because they're very stubborn yep because they strategically did something and now they got exiled out of your energy 
All right. Yeah, there's going to be a sudden turn of events. Somebody's definitely getting caught for using your information, right? But a sudden tower moment exposes someone. I already said, I can't make it up. There's going to be a fire, an explosion in a warehouse or in a, a big company or a institution. They're experimenting with chemicals or something with electrical, electric uh, power outages or circuit break. Like, I don't know. There's some sort of electrical fire or chemical fire explosion. If you live by a warehouse and you smell these chemicals, report it immediately because there's going to be some sort of explosion. If you're working somewhere like this, and if you're not reporting this to the boss or the supervisors and they're not doing nothing, I suggest you think about this job is not worth your life for someone watching. That's a specific message, but you're getting a payout of money. All right, all evil eyes are being blinded. You're seen in the public eye. Having weird, vivid dreams, but there's a major tower for somebody because something completely comes back from the past and, and they have to explain themselves or whatever they thought they got away with. Yeah, somebody can't copy you because there's no one else that's like you or you're just so unique. They can't copy you regardless, all right? So don't worry about that. Somebody's inspired by you. So they're having a hard time doing something in their own way. They have to try to do it how you do it or whatever. It's okay. This person admires you regardless. They're like a secret fan. Childhood trauma, yeah, you went through. Wow. Right. Keep your energy. Keep your energy up. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your birthdays. All right? Don't worry about what no one else has to say. Keep your head up. But somebody's really feeling um, regretful, all right, because there's no one else that compares to you. They thought they, they, they could just walk away from you and ghost you, but this person <laughs> is just like trying to contact you in the 5D because in real life, they, they, they don't have your number. They don't know where you live or in real life, they're around a bunch of karmics, so they can't call you or talk to you because this person did a lot, all right? They did a lot of lying about you. Oh, now they know that you were literally their, their only protection, but now that you left this person or you stopped dealing with them, they're feeling, they're feeling targeted now. They're having bad luck. Maybe someone uh, had bad luck with their car. They could have had a car accident. Or if somebody uh, doesn't have a car or their car broke down or they're just having bad luck. A lot of tower moments. Somebody could be tampering with your car as well. So be mindful with that energy. This is your message. I love you guys. If you need a personal, reach out to me. My email's down below. Till the next time. I love you. Thank you so much for your love, donations, any birthday gifts that anyone sent me. Thank you so much for that as well. I'm also Aries. So... Thank you for all your love and support. Till the next time, my loves, namaste.